Yo, what's good? It's your boy Tech Rec. And we back again with another reaction. Today is actually Monday, August 24th. Hopefully this video gets uploaded mm -hmm. immediately so the date is concurrent, but it will be more than a few minutes after if it does, because sometimes it takes a long time to bounce. But um today on Monday, August 24th, what we are covering is one of those videos again. I told you I don't like covering, but a video that we have to cover because of its attention that has begin been given nationally nationally as well as the seriousness of these events that are taking place in this world especially in the american nation so another police shooting involved with a black man now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna play the video i'm gonna give a little details before i play it this happened in a town called kenosha i believe in wisconsin but when I was reading the, the article, it was some information that seemed that the guy was airlifted to a hospital for, for, old, for Ed Turk in like Milwaukee. I'm not really geographically inclined at the moment with that part of the nation. I think Wisconsin and Milwaukee, I guess they're close. But um, so I, I believe it's in Kenosha, Wisconsin this happened. And what happened was basically... Uh, my man was shot, and I heard he survived. But what we're going to do, we're going to look at the video. I'm going to give you all my honest opinion. And some may agree, some may not agree, but let's look at it real quick. Okay. Um, wow. That's um that's wild. That's wild. It's wild uh, he survived that. That's seven shots they said. Alright, so let me hit y'all with this. This is definitely some unfortunate foul bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's definite. That's some foul bullshit. He shouldn't have been shot. And worse, let me read the article. The article stated that they weren't even there for him. So let's let's read this. It says, Kenosha. Kenosha police shot a man Sunday evening while responding to a domestic incident. Police were sent to the 2800 block of 40th Street at 5.11 p.m. Where the shooting mm -hmm. occurred, mm -hmm. officer provided immediate aid to the shooting victim, who was taken by flight for life to Freud, Freud Turt Hospital in Milwaukee. Kenosha police reported. Excuse that combo was kind of off of my read. The man was in serious condition at Freud Turt. The Kenosha News reported that neighbors said the shooting victim was a man who was trying to break up a fight between two women. Bystander said the man was tased and then shot several times. That's by Milwaukee News. So now, this is what's going on. When I watch that video, there's a lot of things that are missing. But nonetheless, it's, it's senseless. And this is the thing. The cops are just out here indiscriminately shooting and killing black men and black women and black kids and this is a problem because if that was a white man 
he probably would have got a full chance to drive that shit down the road and plow 10 cops if he wanted to. That's the truth. Not all the time, but it happens where it would never happen with black people. So this is just a, a senseless act on the behalf of the cops. But what I'm going to say, many may not agree. And I'm somebody who just because I believe in one thing doesn't mean I cold heartedly agree with everything else that goes with one thing. And the one thing I do believe is cops are on bullshit. 95, 98% of cops are bullshit, awful human beings in and out of the uniform. You know what I'm saying? And 98% sounds like a lot, but that 2% is a lot too. So the ones that are good, it, 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 it's, 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 it's a small percentage, but it's still a lot. Because cops ain't shit. They, they, it comes from a, 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 mon, a, a monarch, a monarchy. So it's like these are um, staff of, of, of an elite perception of people. So like the, the queen and king, they, they think they were the highest shit that God ever created in. These are their personal staff that are, are there to control and regulate people. So police, the origin of police is is, is is thinking you're better and you have the ability to treat others as if they're peasants. Remember that. So it's never really a good thing. And then when it transitioned into the American society, it was used for the, the control of in, the enslavement of, of, of Africans and um, Native Americans. So it was used as a negative weapon. It wasn't used to serve the people. It was used to serve the, the, the master, serve the, the slave master and reduce the, the humanity of a certain group of people. That's what it, that's the origin in America. So when I say 90% of cops is on some bullshit ain't shit, that's, that's reality. Because that's what it comes from. Doesn't mean every cop is bad, but the entity itself ain't shit. And... That's something I understand. You understand for many reasons. I grew up. My grandfather was a cop. My my my, my idol at one time, who was um my my my, my cousin's f father, Randy. He was my idol one time. He he was an undercover narcotic agent in New York. Um, my, my shorty, she 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 was a cop. A, a task force like SWAT in one of the islands. I ain't gonna call it out, but I, I'm I'm familiar with police, and none of them really agree with the shit that they had to go through and, and, and act out as a police officer. They know there was a lot of negative energy as even colored black people, even when you're in the islands, even when you're in America where it's majority white, it's just a lot of disconnection on the income that you're trying to get from this profession based on who you are spiritually. It's a disconnect. But that's how I see it. So I'm not somebody who's pro-police at all. And keep in mind, something that I do intertwines with those, 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 those entities. So it's not a biased opinion. But what I'm going to say is this, that many might not agree. I saw online some of the, 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 the verbiage and the, the expressions that, oh, F saying why he didn't comply. Why were they bothering him in the first place? They weren't even there for him. So there's already a theme online that no one has the right to insinuate um, he should have complied. This is what I'm going to say. Fuck complying. I, I'm, I'm not with complying with no blood clot body. Because man, man is a man, woman is a woman. Child is a child. A child could tell you, fuck off. You might drape them up. You might punish them. You might put them in time out. But... Nobody has to comply. So I'm not with complying, but I'm with being sensible. And I'm with living as long. I already got gray. Let me take this off. I already got gray hair in my beard. But I'm trying to have gray hair everywhere, if you understand what I'm saying. I ain't trying to leave here until I do. So it's not about compliance. It's about being smart and, and longevity. And this is what I'm going to say. I believe his, the guy name was like Jacob or something like that, I believe. He, they said he was tased before. I don't know if he was disoriented. He could have been. Don't don't get it twisted. He could have been. I don't know if he was really angry and was going for a weapon. I don't know. But in this situation, he bugged out. Like I said before, 
A white man could have got away with that shit. Plowed down 10 cops up the block because they let him get in all that shit. But reality is he bugged out. The reason why I say he bugged out because once them cops drew their weapon, they already told you they with the shits. They already told you at this point, there's only one thing left for us to do, which is light your ass up. Therefore, don't matter if they're fucking... I believe they were totally wrong if he was bl breaking up the fight and he had nothing to do. I believe they were totally wrong with even like escalating the situation where this is happening. I believe that deep in my heart without knowing, just going off of energy and the 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 the, 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 the premise of he wasn't the person that was committing the crime. I, I believe they were totally wrong. But you have to be intelligent. You have to be smart. You have to be strategic. You have to be a survivalist. And... If you see anybody, a cop, a thug, a, a racist, a, um, how whatever uh, connotation y'all want to use to describe gender and racial differences of bad guys, whatever the fuck y'all want to call them, right? Any a soldier, uh, anybody, right? If you see somebody draw a weapon on you, you need to chill the fuck out, bro, because they already told you what they're trying to do to you. So my whole thing is. My whole thing is, when they pull that weapon out, and two cops got their weapon out, bro, no matter how wrong they may have been, you should have chilled the fuck out, bro. Because once you go in your car, they going to think, now they really got reason, they, they going to believe they're going to be pulled out before, even though it was wrong, or may have been wrong, because I don't know the full story, but maybe wrong based on witnesses' account. They going to believe it was fully justified now, because look what he doing, now I got to use it, bomb, bomb, bomb. And that's what happened. You 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 got three kids in your car, according to what I'm reading, right? That's what people said. I'm not sure. I'm not going to say that's 100% facts. But they say he had three kids in the car. You have to think about getting back in that car and leaving with those kids. And ironically, that may happen by you not getting back in that car and trying to leave with them kids. So I don't write the police for doing it, but based on where the police were, with their actions and their assumption of this is how they're supposed to deal with this black man, deal with this adult, deal with this gentleman, they already created a situation to have that result. Therefore, you have to be the variable. You have to be the variable and the catalyst to something different than what these bitch-ass cops trying to do. And that's where you chill the fuck out. You get tased, just, just chill. Just chill the fuck out. Just chill out. Because at the end of the day, they're going to try to fucking kill you. And don't get it twisted. I understand, but you have to really understand how I understand. I've been in a situation with my mother. She was actually about to go to Africa. This was years ago, almost a decade ago. She's about to go to Africa. And like two days before, bro, in Central Florida... Some shit happened with some bitch-ass community officer was trying to write me a ticket. when I didn't even know she was trying to write me a ticket because I was parked in front of a store. So I just pulled out to... I'm like, damn, my mom took it too. I thought she was going to run it. So I just pulled out to go in the damn parking lot. By the time I went in the parking lot, my mom coming out. So I drove back up where I was to pick up my mother. At that time, this community officer, this bitch-ass woman, right? Um, And she was a black woman. That's the worst. Gonna, gonna get like this attitude with me and blah, 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 blah. You saw me writing you a ticket. For one, she never communicated with me. She never put on her lights. Like, bro, this is honest to God, bro. How the fuck am I supposed to know you writing me a ticket? Right? And, and, and you don't, like, come on. Right? So in her mind, she might be so old. She remind me of a teacher I had in third grade in New York. That was like a real, it might have been her. I swear to God, bro. Because the lady looked like a, a fucking drunk, bro. And remind me of my third grade teacher. So she's probably really thought I came out of the store and went and started doing this. She probably wasn't even fully conscious of coherent of the whole events that I was already in the car waiting for my mother. Blah, blah, blah. By the time my, my mom came out of the car and she was like, what's going on? And she's talking to my mother. Eh, and like, eh, and like some bullshit ignoring my mother. And my mom is like a grown woman at this time. She in her 40s. I'm like, yo, mom. Fuck that. You're a grown woman. Get in the car. We leaving. Like, what the fuck she talking about? Right? So I've been there before. 
I'm like, fuck that. We leaving because she talking to me like you didn't write me no ticket. Don't you ain't gonna make up your 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 um illusion that um I was running from a ticket and then make think I'm gonna comply with that shit. That's why I say fuck comply. But at this point, she's an unarmed officer. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm out. So I go in the car, I drive. I drive for about 45 feet. Next thing you know, right in front of me, a fucking county sheriff, bro, deputy, stops in front of my car. I pose no threat. I stop at the stop sign in this plaza and gets out his car, open his win- his, his, his um, door and uses it as a shield. And say, don't fucking move. And points his gun at me, then my mother, bro. Yo, I almost fucking lost it, bro. My mom said she was so scared. And she wasn't scared that he pulled a gun. She was scared based on how I was acting. I literally went fucking nuts. And then there was a, a female cop who reminded me of my cousin Shayna. Just like a little cute, dark-skinned girl who looked so innocent and skinny. The vest made her look more, you know, filled up and... There was like three other cops. They were like all black. The one who put a cop was white and they had him leave. This is how you know how he was fucking wrong. They had him leave the scene, bro. The arriving officer left the scene with the situation not even de-escalated. Because they needed him to get the fuck off the scene. Because at that point, I was ready to die. I was ready to kill. Because I felt like my life and my mother's life was, was put at risk for no fucking reason. So... If that's where he was, I understand. But understand what I understand. I understood that if I did certain things, I wasn't leaving there that day. So that's why I tell you I'm not being biased. Because you cops is no different than any human. I'm not letting no one kill me. And I'm not going to let no one put my life in a threatening state where it's vulnerable or... Probable, um, like, like, likely to like be like, like, like a, a detrimental experience to those around me. You know, like, I'm not willing to take those risks, bro. So I understand, but at the same time, you got to know the consequence. So if he was like, "Fuck it, I'm out of here," fuck y'all, crackers. And keep in mind, cracker is not a, a racial slur. Cracker refers to the, the slave masters who used to be whipping the slaves with a whip and a crack. So nobody don't come tell me I'm racist and all that shit. So unless you was like, fuck these crackers, I'm out of here. You had to know what was next on their on their hat. It's either they're going to shoot you or let you drop. But it's more likely they're going to shoot you because they tased you and pull out a gun for no fucking reason. They already wild. You can't wild with them if you ain't strapped and ready to die and ready to kill. You can't wild. And if you were ready to kill, you were reaching for a weapon or you just getting the fuck out of there because you didn't want to deal with they shit, you got to understand that battle has already been placed with a disadvantage. And they had one up on you. Technically two. So as much as I disapprove the actions of the police, this gentleman did not handle that situation in the best mannerism. Or the best manner, excuse me, best manner for him to leave there alive and unharmed. Even though he was already slightly harmed with being tased and I don't know how they roughed him up. He should have chilled the fuck out and dealt the situation at hand. And even if it, it, it got down to where his kids was taken and he's arrested, based on the circumstances, he wouldn't be fighting for his life. And he would have a chance to redeem himself from that experience. Even though police get away with murder, technically, literally, for real, excuse me, he could have had a chance to redeem himself without life-threatening harm taking place. And that's what you got to think about when you're dealing with these fucking cops because they're willing to kill you. So... I'm not saying he did it to himself, but he did the wrong fucking shit, bro. Don't go in your fucking car, look like you're reaching. They don't know when cops got your guns drawn on you. Plain fucking period. Do not go back in your fucking car if cops have guns drawn on you. Philando Philando Castile, Philando Castile, right? 
He didn't even have the gun drawn. He going for his wallet. He's in the car. Boom, boom, boom. You know they shaky, bro. He That guy didn't even have his gun drawn. So these, these cops got their guns drawn already. You got to chill out, bro. And I'm sorry you got fucking shot. Believe me, bro. Because I know what it's like. And I don't mean being shot. I know what it's like being in a situation with them where you don't even understand how this shit is happening. But I wish you did not go back in your car. Because that's what the fuck they wanted to do. And that's what the fuck they got to do to you. You know what I'm saying? And you already see me with Salathus uh, Melvin. I, I don't give a fuck if he had a gun. If he didn't pull that bitch out and he's running away, them cops had no right to shoot him. So I'm not somebody who's um, pro-cop or pro-shoot them just because they, they, they're committing a crime. But you have to reduce the, the, you have to reduce the, 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 the reality of you being very dangerous to them in their mind. And if you have a gun on you just because you're running, don't mean you're dangerous. If you pull the gun while you're running, that's a different story. But it just because Salatus was running and he had a gun on him, it doesn't fucking matter. Until he pulls that shit, it could just be a gun in his fucking waist. They understand that doesn't pose a threat. And initially, those cops didn't have their fucking guns drawn. They were searching, ser serving a warrant, arrest warrant, searching, and then it was Salatus out. The guns wasn't drawn initially. So Salatus already aware, like, fuck this, I'm about to dip on these boys. So he could do that. Unfortunately, he was fucking killed. I, I, that's fucking crazy. I'm think I'm realizing this dude is still alive at this moment, and I'm just like, damn, Slate is dead, but like this shit is fucked up. They really killing us. But he 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 he's running because guns weren't drawn yet. I'm pretty sure he would have known that's how it's gonna end up if guns were already drawn. These these they had their guns drawn. They was already ready to kill you. So, you know, like, to be told, man, I'm disgusted, bro. Don't get it twisted. I'm disgusted. But let's just all remember, like, if somebody on the street pull a gun on you, you ain't moving like that unless you're willing to get clapped. You're not moving like that. A dude in the street say, yo, run that shit. You better run that shit or end up like, you know, like, then French Montana, get, I mean, he killed a dude. But French, Man, my point, French Montana, French Montana got hit up in the elevator because somebody tried to rob him, man. He fought the dude and he killed the dude, but he, I think he caught one or two. You got to know that's going to happen. You're going to catch something if you, if, if you are reluctant to a gun drawn, it is a high probability you're going to catch something. Doesn't mean the, the gun drawn is a, a, a correct act or a, or justified, especially by law enforcement. We're supposed to be trained, but we know these. I shoot better than probably eighty-five percent of these who are non-SWAT. Shit, that's the truth. They're not trained, really. They're not really. They're not even fuck being trained. They might be trained. They ain't got no heart. So you gotta just keep this in mind, man. And this is to all black people out there. They don't give a fuck about us. They really don't. So don't go around thinking that your anger mm -hmm. is going to be suffice when it comes to fighting them. And I mean fighting the oppression. Nah, your intelligence and your strategies has to be that. Because the anger ain't going to get you nowhere with them, bro. You got to move smart, bro. Because if not, there's going to continue to be stories where Ain't shit we could have did. Mm -hmm. Ain't shit we could have did right. They just gonna kill us. And there's gonna be stories that be like, damn, maybe we shouldn't have done that. Because mm -hmm. that's what really initiated the, the, the detrimental part of this situation. So, yo. Like I tell you, I don't like covering this shit. Because I hate seeing my people get killed, shot, hurt, and just oppressed and like treated like like, less of humans, when we are royalty. I hate seeing it. But I ask all of y'all out there to just be safe. And even though ain't no respect for the oppressor, respect your life to the point 
Where if you can't, not say maybe he couldn't. If you can't, just just try to get through the situation, even if the shit fucked up already. Just just try to get through it. Because at the end of the day, it's not always a reward on the other side when you get through it, but it's a more chance of a reward than not getting through it. So yo. Y'all take it easy. And you know, the truth be told. You know, we gotta just, we gotta just, we gotta just pray, yo. And we gotta pray to whatever, whoever you pray to, bro, because this shit ain't getting no better. Y'all be safe, man. It's your boy Tech Rep. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. And, um, everybody just, you know, let's keep, let's, let's, let's keep. Let's keep some energy out there. Hopefully this guy makes it through it, you know? Y'all have a good night, man. Be safe. One.